All right, guys, it's my Max 6, and we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, exactly two weeks before the 2019 Mr. Olympia, when I get the two-time Olympia figure champion here, Latoria Watts. Hi, yes. Latoria. Hello. <laughs> yeah, first time on GTV. Uh, yeah, Jay, was took so long, yes. I know, I know. Jay insisted oh. on having you on the channel this year, and we're here with your trainer, Manny, Manny T. Thanks for having us, you guys. So... You look amazing, and um, we just did a little bit of shoulder, which we're going to showcase in, in the video here. But uh, I want you to talk to me a little bit about, you know, your journey in, in this game. You've already won the title twice, yes. and you're going back to get your title this year again for a third time. Um, but a lot has happened over the past couple of years that people don't know, and I want you to get a chance to tell your story to kind of let people know and also maybe inspire some of the people that may be going through the same thing and stuff. So tell me what happened after um, after winning your second Olympia. After winning the second Olympia. So my first Olympia, 2015, 2016. Um, after that, we kept going, kept the ball rolling. We went to Ohio, did Arnold, we did Australia, we did Brazil, we did Olympia 2017. So I was completely burned out. Definitely feeling the effects of it. Um, and that's when I was the runner up in 2017. Um, but during that time, I was having a lot of issues that I just fought through. I had, had them I had my whole career. I had them, I had them since 2008. 2008, I was diagnosed with them. Um, in, 20, in 2009, I had a procedure to kind of suppress the issue, not really take care of it as I should have, but I was kind of caught up in other things. So just push through it, just work through it. It was catching up to me, the symptoms, the symptoms I was having of my uterine fibroids. Uh, people may know that as tumors in my uterus, which just definitely sucks the health out of you. It's just toxic tumors that I had in my body that... You had like how many? I had 23. <laughs> I had 23 tumors. Wow. Um, probably 10 of them maybe were the size of, I don't know, an orange. Wow. And then I had small ones just, just done. And how did that make you feel like physically? I didn't know. I didn't know because I was just pushing through. Mm. I was just pushing through, successful at what I was doing. So it was like, all right, it could wait. Another year, it could wait. Another year, it could wait. But then it just got to me. It got to me in 2016, 2017, the heavy bleeding <laughs> that I was having. The not so much pain. A lot of people were surprised I wasn't having pain, but just... Pressure, pressure, and I could just tell I was fighting through something, but I just wanted to keep going. I just wanted to keep going, and that's the thing. You get caught up in things that you're passionate about and forget what's most important, your health. Yeah. And me going into that Olympia in 2017, not placing where I was hoping to, that was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. But talk to me about, it's really tough to be the champ and mentally to lose the title, it's gotta be, it's gotta be like crushing. Um, unfortunately, you had a medical issue, so. And I'm not using that as. No, but, but, but that's just a reality, well, yeah, yeah. You know, let alone classic, um, this was almost either on my behalf. My mother had passed away eight weeks into that process. Not that I, that I was distracted, but I, looking back, reflecting, I know I was. And she had come off, like I said, almost five shows the previous year. Or it's an and it was, it, was a, it was one of those things, even I got caught up on, let's keep going, let's keep going. Yeah. And I kind of, looking back, and I was like, I don't know how she did it. <laughs> and, we're, and we're talking, she didn't go, we didn't, she didn't go from Vegas to LA, she went from Australia to Brazil to <laughs> yeah, nuts. all over the world. Yeah. And then came back and, and redeemed herself in Brazil, and then looked even better for the Olympia. And didn't get rewarded for it, but it's okay, but it's one of those things where I was like, it, it, it just caught up to her. And you got the coach, I had to look back and go, wow, I mean, it's pretty. So we're going to take a break was an amazing thing. I think it really shows. How, how long of a break did you have to take? Um, after that 2017 Olympia, in two weeks, this will be two years. Wow. Yeah. I had to step on stage since 2017. But did you keep training and dieting and all that stuff? Or? I didn't. You know what? After, after that, I took a lot of time for myself. I got married. Oh, I got a house. <laughs> I lived my life. Nice. I went on vacation. I enjoyed myself. Nice. And I never had a game plan on when I was going to step back on stage. I wanted to in 2018, but a week before that, I backed out. I backed out because the symptoms from my fibroids just got to me. Um. And I was really trying to still at that time hold off and thinking that time away would help my body recover. Yeah. 
but it didn't. I needed that surgery. So I call um, I call Wild and Chang, and I was like, I know it's a week out, but I can't do it. But I, but I was telling her, <laughs> I was telling her like the whole time going in, like it's not. I was like, no. She was so indecisive when we told that last year, last mm-hmm. Victoria. So you, it's not it's not a show that. You can just, you know, it's Olympia. That's right. And her head, her head was in it mentally. The whole way mentally, it. So I wasn't in it. I felt like my body was pushing or my body was yeah. able to probably get yeah. there. But I know mentally, all I could think of was, am I just going to go step out on stage and bleed everywhere? Damn, that's Another thing, good. also, she used to say a lot of times when she, her biggest worry was, if I don't keep competing, will they forget about me? Will they, I know. this sport's so, you know, Fickle. next, next, next. Yeah. And I was Victoria, like, you're Victoria Watts, you don't, you know, so it's like, this, it's a good thing, but. A lot of times, as athletes, when you're not on top, you're not on the top of the pinnacle anymore, and you're trying to get back there, taking that time off, it's because you want to do. You want to I do know. Kind of battle back, and sometimes time off is the best. What thing. you need. Yeah. It took a lot. It took a lot. I mean, yeah. it took him, a you know, putting way. that in me, but also it took the issue that I had to force me, and that was the best thing I've yeah. ever done. It's yeah. just take time for myself and get healthy. So as I was saying, after I backed out in 2018, I didn't have a game plan on when I was going to come back. It was, I have surgery in December. Doctor's saying six months is gonna be until I'm completely healed. Okay, we're gonna go from there. I'm going to train and be in the best shape for myself. I didn't sign the contract till last month. You know, it, it's, it's funny because we talked about that. We, we actually sat down in April um, before we started our prep and said, listen, you know, we don't know what's gonna take us, but I just wanna have fun. And I, we, I mean, with my mentality, I always have to have the mentality as a bodybuilder, a retired bodybuilder that, Always got to push. So I want to make sure this year we have to just have fun. I think it no should. pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Just it wasn't. It's no stress. stress. It's yeah. No stress. stress. It's, it's no stress. Because I have nothing to lose. That's it. I have just nothing just to lose. Want to, I just want to bring Latoria's best look ever, and then whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. So don't worry about the end result. Don't attach the end result to work you put forth. How do you think? How do you feel that she looks like as her coach compared to? <laughs> put you in the spot right now. To be honest, I mean, this is by far her best look. Um, her best. Energetic output as far as just her in general, mentally, her just, everything, her skin. Um, we've had so much fun. I mean, just people see us at the gym, like they see us, they see her transform, but we're playing around the whole time. But she gets it done, and I've had to learn as a coach to kind of go be more adaptable to my athletes and let them do it their way. So I try to I had to tap it it's still in my way. Latoria kind of got to, I got to go with her flow, meet her halfway, and we still get it done. Yeah. But this year was kind of like, you know, we're just, just gonna have fun. The process was good. Yeah. Bridget definitely oh. helped out. Yeah, she did, yeah, she tried something different this year, wasn't she? I did. He wasn't all the oh. way in. But uh, my conditioning coach, Reggie Hobson, over at Phase One, I was like, you know what? I'm not sure if I'm doing Olympia this year, but I want a different approach. I want to so, get in shape in a different way. So she, so she does that, and he does all kinds of like plyometrics. And He's awesome. Functional training, a lot of functional training. Phenomenal, but she was doing so much of it. I was and obsessed. As, and as a coach, I go, okay, well, when I tell you to push it as an athlete, <laughs> you push it on your mind parameters, and the mind, when I'm, you know, push the cardio, push the posing, push the diet, she was pushing his methods. And so six weeks out, I'm going, Toya, why are, you, why are you still looking flat? Why are you, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. You know I, said, I, said, I, said, I said, how's the training with Reggie going? She goes, it's good. I said, how many are you doing? I thought it was like once a week, right? <laughs> Five, six, I was like, what the f-? I was like, no, 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 no. So I was overdoing it. But, yeah, the but, minute we cut it out, yeah. she just, boom, yeah. fell back out. Yeah. It was like, I mean, it was really, but it was necessary because I see how, as you're going to tighten up, how many different parts of her body have really filled out nicely. Right, we did a so good job. So it really kind of, it was a, a blessing. It's always a blessing with her. It is. Sometimes, I, I, sometimes I can't tell you how many times I've trained with her going to the show, and, and um, she'll make a mistake three, four, maybe five weeks out. I'm like, you know, I want to go. This isn't about that. It always turns into a blessing. It always turns into a blessing. We don't need to talk, to, talk, to talk about any of those mistakes. Yeah, she always, uh, yeah. So anyway, what else do you yeah. do? Um, so you were telling me, you were telling me off camera that this is actually the first year that you're prepping for the Olympia where you actually feel good. Oh my God. Yeah. So you didn't know what it felt like to actually prep for a show. Yeah. I didn't know, I have, I, like I said, I was diagnosed with my fibroids in 08. Yeah. And I started um, competing just for fun in 09, met him in 2010. We finally started taking things serious in 2011 and ever since then it was just ball rolling, ball rolling, ball rolling. Never gave my... What's this weed? This one used to quit on me every six months and then come back a year later. I said we're not talking about it. Don't make me edit this. Yeah, but like like get back, getting back to what you were saying, I didn't know how good it felt to just be <coughs> healthy, 100% 
healthy, rested, happy, and just doing what we want to do. Yeah. That's pretty much what I mean. I've, I've never seen her this excited, this confident about her look while having, while having, having me to have to ask her, what do you think, how are you looking? She just forfeits out. Yeah, yeah she's got the energy. Yeah. You can tell. So, for, really, she, so it's really, that's a good feeling as a coach. Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. yeah. So give me, what advice could you give, could you give to those people come, you know, listening to this interview and coming up you know, in, in figure or bodybuilding or fitness or whatever mm -hmm. um, that may be dealing with certain issues? What would be the best advice? Because you've done it the wrong way and obviously you figured out the right, right way. Right. What, would you, what, would, what would your best advice be to those people? I would tell them to definitely pay attention. Pay attention to your body. Nothing is worth your health. Nothing is worth your health. Take your time. Um, take your time. Be patient. Just and, and just like I was saying, just going back, really just paying attention to your body. Do what's healthy for you. This thing that you are passionate about within this sport, it's not worth your health. That's pretty much it. Yeah. You know, just really there's patient. life after. It yes. is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And it can be so good. Yeah. And just looking at me, people inspired by me, or, and, or just motivated by what I'm saying, it just goes to show, yeah, I was the champ. Yeah, you know, I took a break. But I'm coming back. I'm coming back better than ever. Happy, strong. Whatever happens, happens. I'm at a great place in my life, and you will be too. So just take your time. Sounds like you won already. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I you, right? I, I try and teach my athletes not don't attach the what do I say? I say don't attach the end result to the effort you put forth. You know, mm. it doesn't matter. I mean, I know the time, at the end of the day, was, we all want to win. Of course. But it doesn't really, you know, in this sport. I think every time you fail, you learn from that and you succeed. So yeah. Yeah. you win or you learn. That's right. You yes. win or you learn. And yeah, we all are fighting. We all are going in wanting to win. You're at the Olympia. We all are training yeah. hard. We all are kicking ass. We all are coming up all there champions. for first place. We're all yeah. champions too. Yeah. Just to get on that stage. Just to get on any stage. Yeah. Just to go through this process, this discipline, this dedication. You already won. That's so awesome. no placing can determine how great you are. Yeah. Man, thank you so much for this interview. Uh, I, we never get a chance to talk uh, like this before, um, and I'm really glad you suggested it. And your story is amazing, and, and I'm so happy that you're healthy and you're happy. Yeah. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. You have a good trainer in this guy, I can tell. Awesome. He really cares about you. I wish you the best of luck, both thank of you guys, for you. two you. more weeks until yeah. we know what happens. Just having fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right.